Welcome back, Starfleet, for another day of Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I'm going to download and initialize that gameplay sequence now. The Order has been purged from London. For now, they hold no power there. That is good news. And I would celebrate, but for the fact that Jorvik now suffers from the same infestation. Jorvik is a city under Norse control. I should have less problems finding allies there. That is a hopeful way of seeing it. Speak to Ranvi when you wish to travel there. Do you need something? Ooh, a bunch of stuff. Um, Give order medallions. Yeah, let's do it. Keep this. It serves your cause better than it does my pocket. One more gone. The world is brighter for it. As a token of my deep gratitude, I want you to have this. Thank you. Nice. I expect there are yet more to claim. Well, so now I have to give him six. Codex pages? I have to go. Then go in peace. Alright, well that was an easy little update there. Now we all healed up. Um, I'm gonna go back into the longhouse and start a new mission. Take over. First, let's check out this ability. Just the new one. Is poisonous stations and zip up your arrows. Okay. So, right hand melee weapon, poison enemies suffer additional damage over time. Nope, that's not what I wanted. Okay, so a pale harpoon. Uh, I'm gonna assign that to X. And then, what is this? There's some badge in there. Put that here. Cool. And his best friend, data distraction. Axe blizzard. I need to start using these a little bit more. Eh, eh, eh. Yeah. All right. Want to see the Alliance map? That's the one that he was just talking about. It's just power 190s, 250. Um, 30, we can do that one. What of Oxenifordshire? Sigurd told me he had business there. Ah, yes. Sigurd is there now, in fact. He bids you go meet him as soon as you can. He has partnered with a rebellious thane called Giedrich, and hopes to install Giedrich as Elderman in exchange for an oath. There is an alehouse at the center of Buckingham. Sigurd will meet you there. Okay. I should join my brother then. Where is Buckingham? <laughs> Along the Great Owls River that divides Oxenefordshire. Sigurd will be pleased to see you. Very nice. All right. Well, we are off to there. Let's see if we can fast travel. Ish, we cannot. Okay. Um. 
Dang. What's this Reaper Raid? It's just Power Chew 20. That's, that's not going to be a fun one. We can fast travel here and then take the boat over, I guess. So, fast traveling. Need to cloak myself here. I gotta find Sigurd. Soldiers on alert. What has happened here? An alehouse. This must be it. Right. Whereabouts is Sigurd? Okay, he's gonna be over here. Now then. Secret is not here. I'll ask around. Only that. These soldiers always leave a bleeding mess. Are you the alewife here? You are not welcome here. I've had enough trouble with Danes today. I'm not here to cause trouble. I'm looking for my brother, a large Norseman. It was him what caused the ruckus. Him and that other one were here, talking to Thane Giedrich. Then Lady Edwin's soldiers swept in. A fight broke out. Your brother and the tanned fella got away. The soldiers nabbed Giedrich, though. I was sorry to see that. He's well liked in these parts. Which way did my brother go? Hmm. What's it worth to you to find out? Course. I'm asking a simple question. Look, Dane, you start a scene or a scuffle, and I'll scream for soldiers. The soldiers won't help you. I know you're an honest woman. You seem to respect this man, Gidrich. If he was talking to my brother, it's because he wants what's best for this Shire. Maybe you're a woman who also wants Xenophor Shire to be free and to decide its own fate. A woman will stand up for her village, who won't be crushed under the boot of oppression. I hope I am. Such a woman would help me find Giedrich's friends. You're right, you are. <laughs> Your brother and his friend jumped through that window there and scampered off towards the river. It's a good bet they hid in one of them fish houses. Oh. Okay. There's a lot of soldiers around here. Sigurd and Basim headed south. They wouldn't go far. I'll check along the river. I'm sure it's gonna be great that I just leave a bloody mess out in the street too. Found him. Wait! Stop! Alan was Eivor. We could have caught you to bloody giblets, Wolfkist. 
Why so unnerved, brother? It's not like you. Half the soldiers of the Shire are hunting us. You must have noticed. Is that why you haven't come home? You're playing hide and fetch with the Mercian soldiers. Your brother's a busy man, Eivor. Weighed down by pressing duties. Good to see you again. Was it speaking to you? It's, it's good to see, to see you again, Basim. Even if you haven't kept my brother trained on the task ah. at hand. It's not my place to lead your brother about like a bridled mare. Now there's an idea. Brother, we should be forging alliances. Send this man back to his warren before he leads you astray. Eivor, gods above, I'm grateful you've joined us. We have made strides towards an alliance, in fact. A local thane called Gidritz has pledged an oath to me. I've heard of him. The alewife also mentioned a Lady Edwin who commands the soldiers. Why not ally with her? Lady Edwin's husband was the Shire's elderman, until Gudrun's army ended his life. Now she's taking up her husband's fight, with a promise of aid from King Alfred of Wessex. Edwin vows revenge on the Danes who stole her husband and her livelihood. From what we know, Alfred is a fearsome king. If Edwin can win his full support, this Shire is lost to Wessex. So to fight her, you've pledged your sword to a minor thane who likely commands a gang of farmers and fishermen. Have faith, Eivor. A few hundred Saxons armed with hayforks and billhooks can be terrified. Gods! All men and women, noble or peasant, have within them the seeds of something greater. This is true. Sometimes greater than the average mind can fathom. Well, Edwin has Giedrich in shackles now. All your plotting has turned to ash. Not if we act soon. She dragged her prisoners to the Longhouse. With you here, we can mount the surprise strike. If Gidrich is our best chance for an alliance, let's see it done. The Paladin Stone. Yeah, no, there's three of us. Batham talked you into something of little reward. Ava, have you lost hope in my Warcraft? I heed Batham's wisdom, but he follows my lead. Always. He has the look of one who trusts none but himself. Batham is secretive by nature, but he is wise and forthright. And he has opened my eyes to a magnificent truth. He has promised me a reward so unusual, so incredible. It will shatter your mind to shards. Brother, our bond has the iron heft of a war act. Do not let Basim and his prophecies of good fortune sway you from our simple goal. Never. Our goal is fixed. We shall soon be the lords of Mercia, then all of England. But Basim has a deep insight. He's read wisdom in the lines of my face and heard the litany of my forefathers. Well, there will be time enough for my sad <laughs>
Help me with this. Sigurd, kill this sweaty fishwife. Stay your blades. This traitor Giedrich will face trial, as will all the treasonous thanes of this shire. You're the traitor, Edwin, calling on Alfred of Wessex, begging for his army. Clap your mead hole, Giedrich, lapdog of the Danes. You'll sell us out to Wessex, and that poxy-ass bastard Alfred. We won't have it. <laughs> Let's talk. But, why, but what right do you command? You have no power. Uh... You're not the elderman here, Lady Edwin. Turn around and walk away, and we'll leave you be. You heathenish fork-tongued Dane. Foul-smelling heap, I shit on you all. Lady, Those are just not nice words. choose your next words with care. For you see before you the future master of all England, Sigurd, of the hungry Raven clan. Lay down your arms. Free my friend here, and kiss my lordly feet. You will not get a second chance. Sigurd, are you cracked? And you can kiss my rosy red ass, Wayface. I've done with this offal. I leave them to you. Flay them alive and tan their flesh for saddles. Well. <clears throat> Not very ladylike at all. What have they done to you? What kind of mess did you get yourself into? I can still fight these bastards! to fight. You should have freed me. Giedrich, this is Eivor, my stone-armed sibling. Well met. That was your plan, Sigurd. To charm the lady with your vague hope of kingship. Prophecy, Eivor. Not hope. No time to squabble. Edwin's taken most of the Shire's thanes. She has her way. They'll be dead by supper. Tend your wounds, Giedrich. We'll free your friends. And what of the holy woman, Fulke? You promised us a meeting with her. I did, aye. But it's a fair mystery why you'd want to talk Where is with... she? Thane Holt will know. Fulke lives on his lands. But he'll be dead with the rest if you don't stop the trial. Tell us where and we'll go now. Their lives depend on the speed of your tongue. Southwest of here, halfway to Oxenaforda, at the Leich Vila garrison. Batim! Eivor! To horse! All right. Get on the horse. Off again, Eivor. You and I, with blades drawn and hearts ablaze. Who is this Fulke that Basim spoke of? An ally, Eivor. A most important ally. A holy woman who trades in prophecies and secret knowledge. That is not the sort of alliance we're looking for, Sigurd. No, it's even better. You cannot imagine what discoveries await. You're speaking strangely, brother. Because I'm alive, Eivor. My heart's alight with the fuel of battle fire. Like old times, eh? Yes, Sigurd. Like old times. Remember our hunts beyond the northern way? Our first big kill was a ten-point deer. We brought it down together. The arrows from our bows like darts of ice. With sharpened shin bones for skinning the beast. You on the right, me on the left. We leapt and struck. We crashed to the ground like a felt tree. Then the bloody struggle. Damn animal bit my hand. Never knew a buck could bite so hard. But I pierced its throat, spilling its life wine into the drifts.
there. Start running a little bit there, you boy. Uh... There's the trial. I must be careful. They are about to execute the prisoners. Subjects of the Lady Ears Wind have betrayed their homes to the Shire. Not true. In silence. They stand accused and are guilty of spreading calumny against our sainted. Execute the prisoners at once. Rescue us, we can help. friends at. Hit me, but I can't hit you. Got it. Thank you. Yeah, he was a he was a little tippy. Can't hold out much longer. Sound fun. Are you, are you gonna attack or you gonna stand around on a rock? Buddy, I saved you, I saved them. I gotta kill everybody. Oh, there's a key. Bring it. Alright. 
Got a law breaky. in here. There's one bright little candle. Alright. I'll ring the bell. What bell? I already destroyed it. today that's nice Jammed. need to get on the other side and go out the door from the other side. I don't know if there's a way in. Oh, my meme's trying to search for a way in. I'll say that for just a little bit later. the prisoners? So I'm really confused. <laughs> or do I have to like fix it? Oh, I have to like... Here I am running around. I could have just been untying these guys. Peter, it sent me. Let's get away from this place. But there's so much more treasure here. So I'll come back and get it. Safely over there. We'll loot a little bit later. We easily held him for years. Now his widow wants to lop off our heads. Nice. He's got a continuous story right now. you all. Thanks to you, I live to pay Lady Edwin back in blood. I am Thane Holt, 
does Kiedrich live? He is safe in Buckingham. Good, Thane. We are at your side in this fight, to keep this land in the hands of those who love Mercia, be they Saxon or Dane. God in heaven knows I'd sooner see a Dane married to my daughter than sell a man of Wessex one of my pigs. Okay, well, there you if go. Kiedrich is behind you, then I am too. We're told you know of a holy woman, Fulke. Where is she now? Can we not fixate on this cipher, Fulke? Edwin is our focus. Fulke holds a secret that may turn the tide of this fight. Without her, I cannot achieve my full purpose here. The madwoman Fulke. This man says she's mad. Tell me the secret. You see, brother, your mysterious Fulke has a mind in disarray. Mad or no, I want to speak with her. Understand. Yeah, so it doesn't matter. We're going Fulke's anyway. A heretic, a sower of poison, knowledge, and an enemy of the church. She claims to have seen or spoken with God himself. And for this, Lady Edwin had her imprisoned. I know not where. At a monastery, I suppose. We should make inquiries. Sigurd, do we not owe Gidrich some word of what has happened here? You can speak with him in my stead. But we must hurry. Fulke's life may be in danger. We risk losing all the gains we've made here for the sake of this woman. Trust me, Eivor. Fulke is of great importance. You'll soon understand. I hope I will. We have a camp to the east at Linforta, an old harbor on the Great Ouse. Meet us there. We Thanes will raise a feared and join with you to take down Edwin, whatever it takes. Bring this news to Giedrich. Tell him we'll be ready when he calls. Every man will be needed. Okay, report back to Gidrick. So, 900 miles, here we go. 900 meters, I guess. Is there a fast traveling option? There is. Should I loot though? I mean, there's armor. Or I'll do that at the end, after the story. I'll do that at the end, after the story. Let's fast travel. All right. Oh, no soldiers here now. Gidritz has cleared them all out. Good. See, this is getting kind of annoying. These are just <sighs> randomly. I'm gonna need that a little bit. Come on. She's well supplied, that's for certain. Well done capturing these, lad. It was bloody business. Oil jars, spring old arrows, fodder and the like. Take what's useful and burn the rest. Gidrich. Eivor, do the Thanes live? Yes. Every single one. They've set out to raise a fear of fighting men. They all stand with you, Gidrich. We'll need every pike and poker we have to take down Edwin. And you and your brother, are you still with me? I mean, we're here, aren't we? I like your bluntness, Gidrich. My axe is yours. My brother's too. Edwin's plopped her haunches down in her castle now. She has men and supplies coming. Curse her eyes. Where is your brother and the odd fellow? They continue their search for the woman Fulke. He seems to think she will help us chase Edwin to an early grave. But I do not understand how. You do what you must, Eivor. I'll ready what men I've got for the coming fight. I'll move towards Kinnabella Castle and bring up the feared for an assault. Edwin's fortress is strong and sure. Is there anything I can do to weaken her grip on the Shire or make her anxious? 
Ah, oh, there's a notion. You could chip away at a flag bearers if you see them, and defend my feared if any are in strife. We stole some of the supplies here. If you find any other stores like this, destroy them. That I can do. When you're ready for war, you'll find me at a camp near Kinabella Castle. All right, perfect. Reporting back, and now we've got to go all the way back. Over there. All right. Well, multiple quests accepted. That's not what I wanted. I wanted the map. Oh, oh. Oh. Well. I think that armor is in the church. Which we have a key for now. Uh, the church is barred. Oh. Oh, no. Calm yourself. <laughs> okay, and then unbar that. Expected all the armor to be in the church. Apparently, it's not. <sighs> uh. <laughs> okay. Is there a way up? There it is. It's a ladder. Nice. Where are we at on this one? Arm 32. Oh, this one's maxed out. Oh, no, it's not. Okay. I can't see now. Increase melee damage at night. Additionally, increase uh, night. Assassination damage and stealth damage on successful assassinations. This one crouch or undetected for 10 seconds. Additionally, increased uh, headshot damage. I think we we stick with what we got and looks like we can upgrade them. So and we can put a rune on this. Slotted, slotted, slotted. I think we just got some new ones too, so this would be nice. Light resistance. Fire resistance. Fire buildup resistance. Where's my boat? My boat's this way. Stop that, my God! 
A little bit of running around today. <laughs> Just a recruited guy. Hey, bud. That was tense. I guess you're one of mine. Let's go. Off we go. Run up to the sail. And off we go to the next point. Strike up a tune. Looks like we made it. Oh, I'll get a jump. Thank you. Off limits. But now, near an old harbor. This is the camp. One down. Come on. Very nice. What do we got here? Leather and iron ore? I mean, there's a bunch of treasure right here that needs to be blown up. I think there's explosives right over here. Little we'll pep in the step here, Eivor. my best throw. One more time. 
then we'll stay clear of the tree. Charm her when she's in our care. Do we say what we're after? Or do we dance around the idea? From what I've learned about Fulke, she's not. And here's Eivor. Here we are. Ah, I made you it. time things well. The holy woman Fulke is close by. Imprisoned at St. Albany's monastery. Just around the bend. This is our moment, Eivor. After this, everything changes. I might be pleased for you if I knew who That's this woman dog. was and why we needed her. I have explained enough. Now is the time for action. You've done nothing of the sort. Nothing but give me your blind word. I wish to speak to her. Me. Your Jarl. That alone is reason enough. Why? So she might cast a spell and turn Eatman into an eel. Fulke is not the only advantage we seek here, Aver. There will be treasures in St. Albanes. More than we can count. I have already plundered St. Albanese Abbey and lifted its treasures from nave to crypt. I saw no mm. prisoners of note. She is there. I know it. And she is the most valuable treasure of them all. It sounds Ava, like he's in love. There was a time when you would follow me without question. Because we trusted one another. Because you knew I would never lead you into folly. Never wager our lives before I knew the cost. Is there something that holds you back from embracing me as you once did? As your brother? Your family? Sigurd, you know I would never betray you. Y your trust in me. I'll fight with you. But there must be limits to this chase. Gidrich is counting on us. Of course he is. And soon we will deliver. Come. When you raided St. Yeah. Albanese, let's just put on Are you war. sure you saw nothing? No crypt? No prisoners? Nothing I can recall for certain. Alright. Man, all the traveling. It's just insane, baby. Alrighty, boys. There's one for all of us. Oh, I have the tote. What do we know of this woman? No answers? Or do we just cross the river and get out? Come on, boys. Let's get there. Done nothing but travel so far today. Monastery cribs. So it's definitely in here. Oh, my God. 
round the side. <laughs> Guess we didn't fire the arrow. Spread out. We have this. So they're all in there. I need to find that. I'm guessing that key. That key is definitely going to be to get our friend out. Can I go in the front door? Or is it locked? Hey, what? Can't outrun me! Attack or not? So I got the key, I'm gonna guess that that goes to this door. Let's go. Oh. Like Holy Judas, I thank you, beloved Jesus, for the wisdom to be there. Oops, she's definitely Who in there. Who dares enter this sanctuary? Um, someone that's gonna... The stony cave uh, reeks of free their friend. salty tears. How dare you! We've come for the woman Fulke. She need not bedevil you any longer. Oh, the mad heretic! Ah, the self-begotten spirit has sent an angel to deliver me. Open the door. Her heresies must be punished. Not by Danes or Mahometans, but by true Christians. Are you prepared to buy? I'll give you silver. Consider your position. You're literally three to Friar, one. Friar, our hands are bloody with the gore of your guardians. Is your god so starved of martyrs that you wish to die as well? Yeah, a little threatening. You make a fine point. Yeah. Let me pray on this. Ah, oh, here's the key. The Lord bids me to welcome all strangers. Here, friend, take the key. That's what I thought. And depart with your strange friend. Yeah, you hold on. Praise thee, Lord of the Treasury of Light, for this chance of deliverance. Are you sent by the angels of Sackless, or the self-begotten one above? That sure. I cannot answer. You are the woman called Fulke. I am Fulke in this realm. A humble seeker of the self-begotten one's true nature. And you are a collector of good artifacts. To me, good Fulke. The instruments of the children of Sackless the Fool. Yes, I am. I have many such curiosities. And you possess an object? A polished stone with unusual markings? Now, you're a curious one. A cowl in robes, hiding tawny skin, and that devilish blade. Why do we linger here? Soldiers will be coming. There are stables beyond the monastery where we can speak in peace. Lead the way. Come. You seem very, uh, militant. 
Even like knowing where you're going, what you're doing. I guess she's from here. How long were you imprisoned? Some weeks, perhaps a month. For your so-called heresies. She's slamming the door in her yes. face. I have been blessed to discover many profane objects in my life. Objects which attest to the works of the Demiurge. The false god worshipped by these robed imbeciles. Across Germania and Francia, I found these relics and carvings. And here in England, too. Lady Edwin claims they are blasphemous, but her mind is clouded. The true worth of these objects is immense. May we see these objects? If you wish to know the truth... If you wish to know the truth, catch up and we'll chat. Enough of these mysteries, Sigurd. Fulke is a curator of objects of great worth, one of which may reveal my true nature. True nature? You said this was about victory, about defeating Edwin. Do you know that I am descended from the ancient gods is a victory? It would give me dominion over this land. Descended of the gods. Brother, what by Odin's eye are you saying? Fulke, we have heard that you possess a profane stone with strange markings and the image of a tree. That I do. A monolith I call the Saga Stone, for it came to this land with the Dane Ragnar Lothbrok. Do you have it? It is the sun and moon of all my sacred objects. We're for an alliance, you're dreaming. Something about stone. Will yeah. you buy and trade this stone for an alliance? Or more fighting men? Is it useful for anything other than flattering yourself? Perhaps I should leave you three alone to hammer through your differences? We are unified. We only wish to see the stone, to read the runes inscribed upon it. No one on Earth can read those runes. The language is unknown and probably long dead. There is no risk in letting us look. No risk at all. Praise thee, O oh, self-begotten one, for sending these three to deliver me from my punishment. No whispering god let me hear, Fulke. I brought myself. You came because Oops. I called you, Eivor. Damn, Eivor. They spoke through me. Brother, you have my head spinning. And you fascinate me more with each passing moment. The Saga Stone is hidden away in the care of my acolyte. Are you ready to go see it? Yeah, let's do it. The sooner we see this slab of rock, the better. Let's go. Approach the stone with an open mind, Ava. You may find it more interesting than you expect. I want a horse. Sorry, I thought we could gallop. Apparently, we're just gonna trot. What is it about this stone that captivates you, Fulke? The Saga Stone comes from an ancient race of beings, a generation of lesser gods, as do all the artifacts I collect for my church. Man. You prayed to the Christ Jesus in your cell. Is your church not the Church of Rome, like these Saxons? These Saxons believe in Christ the Redeemer, but I know his true purpose. Christ the Educator, the Keeper of Secret Knowledge. Is this why Edwin loathes you, for preaching such an idea? Yes. Christians like her, like, like Alfred, they believe Christ's purpose on earth was to wash us free of sin. The Roman Church has been deluded by the lies of Sacklus, or Yellow Mouth, the demiurge of many names, a lesser god. Sacklus and his kind were wise in their time, but they lost sight of the true god, the self-begotten one, lord of the treasury of light. This is why Edwin had me punished and imprisoned. What she calls heresy is... In fact, the true nature of the universe. Yours is a strange saga, Fulke. Oh, Fulke. And I have not yet reached its end. Oh, now we can go faster. Be on your guard. Someone is watching us. Take care, everyone. The villagers aren't happy we're here. Edwin's eyes and ears, no doubt.
what is this place tower? up ahead. A ruin from England's Roman past. My acolyte found it abandoned and derelict. He took refuge here after his bishop expelled him for teaching the same truths that got me imprisoned. He was a priest. He was, and he is. The bishops of England are simply too craven and deluded to understand the secret wisdom we possess. Brother Paul! Are you here? Ransacked from Flort. Ransacked from floor to roof. Basim, stand guard outside. This was Edwin's doing. I have no doubt. The stone is within? I asked Paul to hide it well. But I do not know where. This moves. It must be there. Is this him, your acolyte Paul? My dearest friend. I was gonna say, well, he's he's not he's not here anymore. He's gone. May you live as one with the true God in the treasury of light. Your friend paid the price for his loyalty. I imagine he was guarding the stone. Edwin's men did this. They killed Brother Paul and took my stone. You, always questioning, second-guessing my wishes. You slowed us down, and I missed my chance. <sighs> we'll get the stone. Patience, brother. We'll find this stone wherever it is. Right or wrong, you will have your answer. I know the answer already, Eivor. I've seen it in my dreams. I know exactly. Hold, both of you. You hear that? Soldiers, Edwin's here. How dare you Danes befoul my lands? Hold our favor, first we talk. Lady Edwin! A stone was taken from this tower, inscribed with runes, and the image of a tree. Do you know it? Yes. One of this heretic's blasphemous baubles. Is that why you've come? I mean, yeah, that's we kind of why we're here. That stone for an assurance of peace. What are you saying? We gave Gatred our word. For that stone, we will leave your lands and not return. Oh, for this? You must bring me Giedrich's head. Oh, the see, stone. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. Grasp. We made a promise, brother. Brother. We have a deal, then. We accept. Done. We do not. Avon! <laughs> no! Cut them down! Leave none alive! Great. Ava, are you mad? We had our chance. We will speak of this, Ava. I will not forget. Yeah. 
Out of my way. Finishing move. Oh, now we're getting these. Minded fool! That was our chance to recover the stone without letting of blood. We have a pact? Yeah. I will not betray Giedrich. That is not for you to decide. My promises are my own, and they are ironclad. Your first oath is to your Jarl, Sigurd Jarl, your brother and master. Oh, let's punch him. Stay out of this! Enough! If it wasn't clear why Sigurd is in command, it is now. Your temper runs too hot, Wolf Kissed. You want to settle things with Basim, you call a home gang. Else you follow me. You listen to me, you do as I ask. Edwin will flee to her castle. You want your stone? It will be there. Gidrich's pathetic army will never breach the walls. We could have first yeah, taken but we stone, can. then laid siege. That was always our plan, Eivor. I had no intention of betraying Giedrich. It was your plan all along. Yet you saw fit to keep me guessing through your fits of madness. You are not always to be trusted. Your passions overcome you. I know that. My father knew that. Your father knew it. Yeah. So now we're just insulting. Sit here and bemoan your fate, brother. I have a promise to keep. And I mean to. You think too much of yourself, Eivor. You do not have the wisdom of Odin. Come, Basim. Hmm. This quarrel with your brother is something to behold. Has it always been so heated? All my life we've moved as one. As family. As kin. I've always known his mind. And he mine. Until this day. Time makes idiots of us all. You thought well today, Fulke. Would you fight beside me now? To wrest control of the Shire from Edwin? I will. Gidrit asked me to cripple her line of support. Would you know where she gets her rations and supplies? East of Oxenforda. South of the Lichvila. There's a place called Eaton Barn where eager merchants Eaton sell to soldiers. Barn. Meet me there. I'll come soon. Eaton Barn. Sigurd, brother, you're lost in a sea storm of your own making. Edwin's defenses have been weakened, but I could do more before joining Fulke. Blood from a stone. Got some more skill points.
man. Would you live under Evelyn's boot? For that is where you will be with these supplies which are cast. I'd give them over to any man for enough silver. I have a livelihood to keep. I had silver before. There's Fulke. You will only give me time. I must just my word. It's a good. It's for the good of your Shia. You've lost your senses. What's the noise about? She's trying to rob me. I warn you, soldiers are coming to escort me any minute. This merchant is taking supplies to the castle. Oil for boiling, arrows, shields, rations. I offered to buy them, but he refuses. I don't sell on a future promise of profit. Edwin's a valuable customer. Then I'll make you a new offer. How about a story? I'll spin you a tale in exchange for your wares. That's an odd bargain, Dane, but I'll bite. Sing me one of your sagas. The wild winds wandered. The seas spit salt. The night fell into slumber. Wise Odin rose and bade farewell. He pulled on boots of leather. Bit of a slow start. Pick it up! Long before, before the beginning, before you and I and the others, wise Odin looked with his one wane eye and stared and blinked and thundered. Uh, this Odin fella, he's one of your gods, isn't it? The moon burns red, the sea foams gold. Wise Odin utters the words. Right, this is not what I wanted. Stop it, will ya? The snake writhes, Loki yawls, poison drips from the mouth. Enough, enough! Is this some sort of Nordic curse? Run, go! How does it end? They all die. He said soldiers are coming. We can use these oil jars to surprise them. Fewer reinforcements for Edwin. I see visions of burning men, the screams of soldiers aflame. If we place the oil and supplies near the hay along the road, it will burn like hellfire when the soldiers arrive. Take position on that bluff and watch for the soldiers, would you? You'll hear me howl as the men approach. They will attack on sight here. What was that? My howl. Edwin's men approach.
That's the last of them. Edwin will be waiting for aid that never comes. Something wrong? No. No, quite the opposite. At Sancte Albanes, your brother claimed kinship with the gods. Is it true? Is he descended from the Archon's children? The Isu? Not to be blunt, Fulke, but only half of what you say ever makes any sense to me. Forgive me. I often presume too much of my audience. Men who fear damnation, when ignorance is the greatest of all evils. Ignorance of what? What a perfect sentence. I'll ask more simply. Could your brother be descended of the gods? Or could he be a god himself? How is that possible? You don't believe such a thing yourself, do you? Not elusive self-begotten light who reigns over all, but a lesser god. Imperfect and given to temptation. Sigurd is only a man, the son of a king and my brother. He may think highly of himself, but he's no god. Yet it's possible his line of kings was fathered by a god, in ages past. We haven't time for these fantasies, Fulke. It's time I regroup with Gidrich, to see how his assault preparations are coming along. Godspeed, Eivor. I will stay here, to pray for the souls of the dead before I join you. To a man. To Bring those men here. Information. Giedrich. Giedrich. Eivor, have you dealt Edwin a few bruising blows? I have. She'll feel the pain soon enough. Excellent. My men are itching to attack the fortress, but we'd be fools to force it now. Why is that? On account of Edwin's got too many traps and defenses. Her springles cut us to bloody stumps before they poured boiling oil upon us like a summer tempest. Keep the men at the ready. I'll slip in alone and see what I can do about these defenses. By my joints and ankles, you're a tough one. Eivor, Giedrich, and victory! Ah. Hey, hold on, you! Castle Keep looks impregnable. That will be Edwin's last turn.
I could wreck these cauldrons. Large bolt casters. I must disable them.
to be done, but this should be enough to launch the assault. Now it's down to Gidrich to lead his men. Say we wait. There's too much riding on this. Lord of East Mercia, and I say we fight. You're a good man, now. Sigurd, and I'm thankful for all you've done. But without Eivor, I make no moves. Is it done? It is. And have you laid your poles of Hazel and composed your poems for this coming victory? I am here to speak with Giedrich. Go on, then. Your master of aids. Still dreaming of your precious stone? It is not dreams that led me here, Eivor. I have had visions. Prophecies from the gods. Visions? I'll sacrifice to Tyr this day. The lord of justice. The harbinger of flawless victory. Sigurd, what prophecies? 
Are we ready to assault the castle, Eivor? The sign's important. Read well. We're ready. Give the command. Good. And let's be quick about it. My scouts tell me a force of King Alfred's men is on the march. Let's end this before that flap-mouthed pudding has a chance to hit back.
You felled the lofty lady. Do what you must, Thane of Dungheaps. As one loyal to her shire and her people, I know which of us God favors. Eivor bested you. It's for Eivor to decide your fate. You fought with honor and purpose. For that, I put you in Gidrich's care. He will see you're treated well. I will, so long as you recant your friendship with that pot of warm piss, King Alfred. Agreed. Take her away! I fulfilled my promise to you. I trust you will do the same. An oath between our people. Aye, you've done us well, Eivor. I thank you. And if ever you need the like, I'll do what I can. I will. Count on it. I'd be quick about plundering. King Alfred will be on his way, and he won't be alone. Kings of the Ancient Ones, the Isu, the gods of the Gat of Gods. I... I've seen this somewhere. I know these words. I...
One who stands at a threshold should take great care to look around. For who knows what foes lie in wait in the halls beyond. I've passed through this doorway once before. But Sigurd, in a dream, not once, a thousand times. A thousand. Does it say, Sigurd? Does it speak to you? Yes. But the words are fogged, shadowed. And yet I I feel their meaning. And the ash tree. I see the great tree of life, her boughs reaching skyward, opening the way. It's just as you promised, Basil. All you foretold was true. Eivor, I am more than I appear to be. So much more. This is wicked magic, Sigurd. Dark Seda, do not listen. No, this is real. This is everything. To the walls! To the walls! Alfred's come! King Alfred of Wessex! Marching up the rise with a mess of soldiers! Have we time to escape? The men are spent. We've not a chance in blazing hell. A parley, then. We must call a parley. I will speak, and the King of Wessex will listen. Yeah, I don't know if he will or won't. We'll see. It's a lot As I of understand, soldiers. King Alfred, your name is not spoken with affection here in Mercia. Yet I am close enough to Wessex to hear myself praised from morn till twilight. <laughs> Return to your singing subjects, then. And leave the affairs of Mercia to the Danes. But for your pagan war songs are safely out of hearing. Please, man. No secrets here. Pleasant is here, Gunnar. Let's exchange men. My best warrior for yours to prove peace. After which you leave Mercia, and we fall back north of River Oos. These terms are fair. Wolfric! My war thane. You will go with Giedrich, brother. Name your man. Sigurdjörn. I offer myself. Thank you, Basim. King Alfred. Wait. Mm. Paladin Fulke. You with this company? I was, my lord. To recover from Edwin what was mine by right. Mm. Sigurd is the only man you need. He's worth more than 20 other men. He is the son of a king. Traitorous snake. And his heresies are profound, my lord. He claims to be a living god. I'll gut you, troll woman! Hush. Very, very arrogant. I mean, I'll gift myself to you. We did buy into it. King Alfred. Because it is not my fate to die by your hand. Brother. Have faith, for the Lord God watches over you all. This man is dangerous, my lord. Let me hold him. Do what you must, but treat him with care. By all the gods, Basim. What was that? I will shadow them. They shall not get away. Oh, 
was a wild turn of events right there. All right. Well, do I have to follow or something? Okay. I'm gonna call it right there. It's been a good day. We've gotten a lot done. Allen and Stone has been completed. What a great place to stop. So, uh, yeah, thanks again for coming in, tuning in, hanging out, watching some Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Um, more progression, more everything to come. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. You guys have a good one. I'll see you in the next mission log. Peace.